Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another video. So it has been an eventful couple of days. Just to inform you guys of what's been going on, on Thursday morning I woke up to find an email from YouTube stating that I had a copyright strike on my channel. And this was a bit of a shock, so I immediately started thinking about the recent videos that I've done and thinking about any blocks or any warnings on the footage that I used or was looking at to analyze. And I thought, well, we had that Prince video recently, the Live Aid, that was Queen's whole set that I did on that. So anyway, I started looking into it. And I found out that the video that has been copyright striked, or at least a strike on my channel has been caused because of it, was a video that I did three years ago, maybe even longer than that, on the band America. And it was from Studio Hamburg. So I then realized that the thing that's been claimed as copyright is just the footage. So it's nothing to do with the band, the record label, or the copyrights on the song that they're performing. It was just the footage. And that is what Studio Hamburg then claimed, but decided to give me an instant strike on that footage. The problem with this is that if you're not aware of how to upload a video to YouTube, what happens is you record your video, you upload it, and once you've uploaded it, it goes through a processing phase where the YouTube bots are checking your video for copyright content. And that can take quite a while, and then it goes through checks, it says performing checks, so it can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. It can even continue after the video has been uploaded and then allowed to be viewed on YouTube. Sometimes it can be half an hour or an hour later when it's then blocked and it comes back as your video contains copyright material and the owner has chosen to block the video. So, I always keep an eye on my videos about half an hour or an hour after I've uploaded them, even though sometimes it's pretty quick now because they've obviously made it more efficient to tell you whether your video has copyright content in it or not and whether it's gonna get blocked. So that is the process that you go through. Three years ago, I would be going through exactly the same process. I uploaded the video, I waited to see that everything was okay from a copyright perspective, and the video has been absolutely fine for three years. And all of a sudden, Studio Hamburg have marked it and struck my account with the copyright strike. And just to explain the copyright strikes, it's a big deal because if you get three of them, that's it. Your channel is over, all of my videos are deleted, and you guys won't be able to watch any more analysis videos, and I won't be able to return on YouTube as Wings of Pegasus. I'd have to try and make a different channel. So it is serious stuff. The thing that is frustrating for me is that this video has been okay for three years and all of a sudden they decide to give my channel a strike. The other thing is that they didn't contact me. I've checked all of my emails, my whole junk folder, everything. I have not received an email from Studio Hamburg to say, you've used our material, can you please take the video down? They didn't give me any warning because if they'd contacted me, I would have taken it down instantly because as you guys know, I'm really easy to contact and I'm doing this every single day. It would have been down within minutes of them emailing me, but they didn't. They just decided to go ahead with the strike. So now I have one strike on my account. And considering that this is a video that was done three years ago, what's to say that a video I did two and a half years ago or three and a half years ago can't now get a copyright strike and then that's my second and third and then everything stops on the channel so you guys will try to access a video and it'll say no longer available, this channel doesn't exist. So something really important that I wanna mention about the channel and the way that I do everything, if it did happen that for some reason Everything stopped on YouTube. I am continuing. I'm going to keep making analysis videos, keep live streaming, but I'm going to be doing it on Patreon.com. I'll continue to do it on YouTube as long as possible, but if you're not aware of Patreon, it really is the foundation of what I do. Everything gets uploaded there so that my patrons can watch the videos and know that they're going to continue to be able to watch those videos forever because it's all stored over on Patreon.com. 
And if you guys want to head over there yourselves, it's basically like a subscription service, like a monthly thing that is $3. So for $3 a month, you get access to all of my videos, all of my original music as well, live performance videos. There's guitar lesson videos over there as well that I've done. So let me get the Patreon website up on screen. That is it, patreon.com forward slash wings of Pegasus. Like I said, it's $3 a month, but that is where you can get all of my future videos that I'm gonna make. And I will continue to do them on exactly the same days as I've been doing them on YouTube. So that'll be on Tuesday, we have our live stream. On Wednesday, we have an analysis video. On Friday, we have an analysis video. On Saturday, we have our live stream. And on Sunday, we have another analysis video. So that is the schedule that will continue regardless of what happens here on YouTube. Obviously, it will be a huge pain to lose all of you subscribers because I I think we're getting up towards 200,000, it's about 184,000 subscribers at the moment. So it would be a shame to lose the whole ability to do the YouTube thing. But this is the kind of thing that can happen. I know that Michael Palmazano also had a copyright strike on his channel. He's a good friend of the channel and I've spoken to him about it. His was during a live stream. So it meant that he couldn't do anything about it because he was live and the copyright strike came in after it finished. So he then contacted the company that did it and I think he did get it resolved and removed. I've done exactly the same. I've contacted Studio Hamburg, sent them an email. I haven't heard anything back yet. It's been two days. This is why there's no analysis video tonight because I'm just waiting for the dust to settle and hoping for a reply from them. I'm constantly checking my emails. I have had a talk with YouTube and they've said to get in touch with Studio Hamburg to try and get the strike removed because YouTube have got all of my videos. They know the nature of my channel and they know that it's education everything that I'm doing on YouTube is transformative in terms of everything we're looking at. I'm teaching people or hoping that they learn something from my videos, regardless of whether they're just fans or if they play guitar themselves, even professional musicians. I do have watching the channel who do comment as well. So it's something that fingers crossed I can get a reply from them, but I think I will email YouTube as well. Maybe just to suggest that on their policy or their copyright setup, the enforcement parameters that they have, that if a video has been uploaded years ago, or maybe a year ago, and it's been fine, maybe a channel shouldn't get a strike, because for all intents and purposes, that channel has been told it's fine from a copyright perspective to have that featured on your channel, and there's no way of me predicting this happening three years into the future from when I uploaded the video. So hopefully I won't get any more copyright strikes, but it's impossible for me to avoid considering that in this situation, the video was uploaded three years ago and I was told by YouTube it was all fine and it has been fine for that length of time and now all of a sudden there's a copyright strike on it. So I don't know how you stop that happening unless the company email me and then I can take it down. That's really easy to do. I can do it really quickly. The frustrating thing is that they didn't do that. And the fact that they didn't choose to block the video, which means that nobody can watch it, which preserves the copyright, they decided to go straight for a copyright strike. And maybe they don't know how serious a strike is, but it means that I'm now two away from being canceled on YouTube and everybody who watches these videos will now no longer have them anymore, unless they do go to patreon.com forward slash wings of Pegasus. And it is just, yeah, a very frustrating situation to be in. I know for a fact as well that my videos are shown here in the UK in music classes at schools because one of my students mentioned that he saw a music class that had me up on the projector and they were looking at different performances and learning from them. And this is the whole point about my channel. And this is another thing about YouTube that they have a blanket system for copyrights. So. It means that even though all of my content is 100% fine from a copyright perspective, because it is transformative or fair use as it's called in the USA, and I think other countries call it fair use as well, but transformative is what we say here in the UK, where if somebody watches your video and they learn something from it that they didn't know previously, then you have transformed what they are watching. They've learned something about it. And that's very much the way I approach all of my videos. And that's why I know that 
in the copyright law that I'm absolutely fine and that if it did go to court, I'm pretty sure, and I know from knowing the copyright law very well myself, being an original artist and keeping a track on my publishing rights and everything that happens with the third party company that look after my music called TuneCore, I know how it all works. So I know that a jury would find that watching one of my videos is not me just putting the video up on screen and using that to try and get views, using just the performance. I do point out quite a lot of things musically about it, and there are a lot of channels on YouTube who don't point out things about what we're watching so that you don't really learn anything about the performance, the music, the composition, all of these different things, and it's just uh, my channel that seems to have been uh, marked in this way for, I know that that particular video as well, that has been copyright struck for me, is available on other people's channels who are a lot smaller than my channel. So it is a bit frustrating in that way that they've just looked for my channel and decided to give me that copyright strike. Anyway, I don't want this video to go on for too long. It was just an update to keep you guys in the loop and to explain why there isn't an analysis video tonight. I'll probably email YouTube to give them maybe a bit of advice about those enforcement parameters with copyright, just to suggest that if you upload a video and then it's say a year later and somebody wants to enforce a copyright strike, maybe it should just be the case that they can block the video, but because it's been up for so long with no action taken, that creator has obviously assumed that it's okay to be on the internet and to be analyzed in my case. So I think just a block would be sufficient and it is a shame that after three years, all of a sudden we've now got a copyright strike the other thing is that this copyright strike will go away by itself in 90 days. As long as there isn't another copyright strike on another video from years ago that has now been marked and there's no way that I can stop that from happening because of the situation with this video. So. We will see what happens in the future. Fingers crossed this is just a one-off and in 90 days it will get struck off and we'll be back to zero, back to normal functionality on the channel. But if you do want to support the channel, if you do want to have access to all of the videos, regardless of what's happening here on YouTube forever into the future, then head over to this site, patreon.com forward slash Wings of Pegasus. That does support me and everything that I do here on the channel, but also just the videos, everything that I have here, my software, my hardware, the plugins that I buy, the lighting, batteries, <laughs> hard drives, you name it, is all just supported and through your support on patreon.com forward slash Wings of Pegasus. So thank you guys for all of your support over there. And if you guys on YouTube want to have access to everything that I do into the future, regardless of what happens here on YouTube, then head over to that site. And this very much is a way to contact me directly. There's a direct message option on there. So if you've got a message you want to send directly to me, then I will answer that within 24 hours, as all of you guys know who are already over on Patreon. But thank you guys for watching this video. And if there are any more updates, if Studio Hamburg do reply, if it gets removed, then I'll let you guys know. Fingers crossed, common sense will prevail. But other than that, I've just got to hope that other historic videos that I've done don't get any copyright strikes without warning and uh, if that doesn't happen then I've got to wait 90 days to get rid of this one but thank you for all of your support and I'll see you guys at the live stream tomorrow night I'm still going to be doing that and then I'll get back into the standard protocol and schedule for Sunday doing another analysis video and we'll just cross our fingers that everything will be okay moving forward but thank you for watching this one and I'll catch you guys at the next one rock